So do you know how to roll a cord up? Uh, freaking obviously, yeah. Okay, do it. Okay, great. He was wrong. It's a mic, I'm gonna cry. Guys, we are back with another P.O. box unboxing type situation. Um, I don't know if you guys actually like these or not, but I love making them, and so I'm just gonna keep making them because they make me happy. I'm laughing because um, I'm hot. It's really hot up here. Also, if you will notice, I'm sitting on the floor, and the couch is not far from the floor because I have not put it together yet. I still need to put the legs together, and also the arm rest. <laughs> Last week I opened some packages from my P.O. box without really thinking about doing a video because I just got a couple. Um, and it turned out to be just a wild couple of packages I really wanted to share with you. Jonathan Van Ness, his hair products, um, the JVN hair line, just sent like a buttload of things. There was no note, so I didn't really fully understand what was happening and I just reached out on Instagram and was like, so I need to do some Googling and try and figure out how to use them. Thank you so much. Also in my head, Jonathan Van Ness packaged those himself and wrote a handwritten note that said, love you, JVN. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan Van Ness. Uh, maybe we can be friends in real life or something. Also, I've accidentally ended up in the hair space. I <laughs> Brad Mondo, I don't know if you know who that is. I have been following him on YouTube for years now and um, he sent me a ginormous box of things, and so I'm gonna show you some of those things. I literally can't believe this is happening. It's like called Wave Foam and Wave Revival Mist. This is glittery serum for your hair. We should see if it makes my hair glittery. Not now though, I just spent like an hour doing it. <laughs> sea salt spray, it's pink. Where are these colors coming from? I love this. He also sent all this. Hydromania, moisture cream, repair shampoo, super gloss, shiny. <laughs> hair healing color. Does it make your hair colorful? Uh, a T3 blow dryer and brush. Where are you getting all of this extra money to send me things like this, bro? How did we, how did we get to that level? <laughs> how did I get in the hair space? Great question, I would love to tell you. When I find out. Now we are moving on to things that I have not seen yet. Neutrogena? Wait a second, is this important? Ooh, I feel like I missed something important. I see glitter! Okay. Ooh, what is going on? I think this is from the campaign I did with them and it's like retro themed. Whoa! I've actually needed a water bottle because um, my son August has stolen mine. <laughs> this is not going anywhere. <laughs> Crop top, tank top, white socks. I think they probably wanted me to use these for the video that I made and I did not know that they sent them. Did anybody wear the bandanas? Ow. Did anyone wear these as a kid? Did, wasn't there like, is that? I don't think that's right. This is giving like um, shepherd's wife on a farm with her sheep. This doesn't feel right, but we're gonna keep going. Okay, we've got like a bunch of nostalgic things. Bracelets, an iPod. Hold up, hold up, hold up. A little mood ring action. Got a little composition book. Got some clips. Now I look like I'm ready to go in a convertible. Thank you, Neutrogena. And I'm sorry, I didn't see it before I filmed your commercial. Okay, next is from Dear Media. Oh, hey! Katie, uh, is it Maloney Schwartz? She's from Vanderpump Rules. I don't know if anyone watches Vanderpump Rules. Huge Vanderpump fan. She sent me merch from her new podcast, which is called You're Gonna Love Me. And so I was on her podcast one time and um, was really, really cool to meet her. Yes, a tote bag, little flowers. That's cute. I think this is a shirt. Yes. Should I try it on now? Like a glove. The only thing though is you have to do the double roll, right? I've been doing this since I was a little kid. I don't know why. I just felt like it made a, a t-shirt look more like um, an outfit than when you just left it. Like it looks like you went in your closet and were like, you know what? I'm gonna make an outfit out of this graphic tee rather than being like, this is what's clean on the floor. That doesn't really, the logic doesn't make sense, but that's how it feels. These are shorter than usual though. So <laughs> maybe it looks weird. I put my shirt on backwards. I'll tell you. There we go. We gotta triple roll these because they're extra long. Next is Old Daughter Paper Company. Odd Daughter. 
Odd Daughter Paper Company. The sticker says fun mail alert. <laughs> Cut away from you, Elise. Jonas is gonna be like, I'm just coming to work with you, Elise. There is a card, so I will read the card. I have learned my lesson to not just rip into packages like a maniac. Katie from the Odd Daughter Paper Company created something called a support deck. Cute. A guide to dealing with stress and anxiety featuring therapeutic practices to help manage your big feelings. So here, they're like illustrated. Ready? I'm gonna pick a card. Create a mental container. Imagine a container that is strong enough to hold whatever is causing you distress. Place the distressing memories or feelings into the container until it can be addressed at a later time. Place the container on a shelf and come back to the feelings when you can. I put feelings in containers and then box them away and never revisit them is the problem. It's pretty much all I do. So maybe this exercise for me would be revisit a mental container. <laughs> Throw away some mental containers. Unpack some mental containers. Let's try another one. No looking, no looking. What do you want to play, sir? Aces, deuces, what's on the house? <laughs> Just kidding. This is me deflecting. Write a note to your younger self. I will do this after this video. I'm not joking. Should I do it right now? Okay, I'll do it right now. Uh, one second. I did it. You didn't think I was going to do it, did you? I didn't. I didn't want to. <laughs> That's what we do. We do hard things. So here we go. Dear Elise, I know this might be hard to believe, but it is going to get better. I'm sure that you have a lot of people telling you that right now, and it's probably confusing that a lot of the people that are telling you that right now are the people that are currently hurting you the most. <laughs> this isn't funny. If you are going to believe anyone, believe me, or you. Well, I am you, so that's probably confusing. But anyways, I just wanted you to know that one day you are gonna love yourself, and you're gonna learn what real love actually is but I need you to know that all of this won't be wasted. And I know you hate when people say that because I'm you, um, but it's the truth. Kind of like when muscles have to tear in order to grow, um, your life will have a lot of that. You'll learn how to recover the wrong way and then the acceptable way um, and then the healthy way. And you'll teach other people how to skip right to the healthy way. And when I say your pain won't be wasted, that's what I mean. I love you so much and you're stronger than you know right now. Um, what you lack in this season, you are going to be given an abundance of. Just wait. It gets really good. P.S. Um, avoid dating anyone in a band. So that's my letter to myself. <laughs> um, you should write a letter to yourself. That was actually very therapeutic. I'm surprised I didn't cry. So thank you, the Odd Daughter Paper Company, for that very therapeutic moment. And I'm glad we all experienced that together. I will for sure link this below so you guys can check it out. That got heavier than I expected it to. Are you having fun or is that? did I make it too sad? Next is Patty Dedur. Ooh. Enjoy my ADHD book in your nursery. This kid can hyper-focus. It's like a holographic sticker. This kid can hyper-focus. Cute! This is so cool! It's a book about um, a little goat, I think, that has ADHD. Let's read the first page together. Hi, I'm Kid, and there's one thing I know for sure. I love kidding around. Can you tell I'm a mom? Next box. Pet Smart. I will open it the responsible way. I don't, I don't know if there's a responsible way. It wasn't that though. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Our Father's Day poop bag cards are printed with loving messages from your pup. So the next time you pick up their poo, it's kind of like they're saying thank you. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my god. Stop it right now. Dad, your pickup game is no joke. We're a stinking great team. Hey dad, thanks for dealing with my crap. <laughs> There's more. Our relationship is solid. Love you, dad. Dad, you're number one for picking up my number two. I have never seen anything like this. They are biodegradable, so that doesn't mean edible for anybody that has ever mixed edible and biodegradable up. Okay, next. It's a big one. From Ashley Dale. Oh, she's from my Patreon. I think she works in space sometimes. Oh, I'm terrified of space. I can't look at that. That makes me scared. I am in a weird way terrified of both space and underwater. I can handle everything in the middle, but I cannot handle anything else. 
but I will give these to August. There's no place like space, solar system. Little kid's first book of space. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So I know I don't like space, it makes me nervous, but this, this is cool. Jonas, you've got a polo. Oh, a little hoodie for August. What's crazy is these are not like shirts from Target or Walmart that just say like NASA on it. These are literally from NASA. I wish I could like write on a, like with a Sharpie, just in the corner, like, no, literally from NASA. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on, even though I'm really hot. Just to show you what. Oh my gosh. Ooh, got a coin. My dad is gonna freak out when he sees this. Got another shirt for August. Oh my god, this is so cute. Critical space item, handle with extreme care. Are you joking? Thank you so, so, so much. Should I keep it on, that on? No, I'm too hot. Elise, what are you doing? A few more. Akira coffee. What time is it? 30 minutes, I gotta go home. I end my day at four every day. That's 2 p.m. in California time, which is very inconvenient for a lot of people, but I've committed to being at home at four every day because it keeps me with my family and it keeps me home for a bath time and it keeps me home for bedtime and dinner time and all of the times that are important. And so I leave my office at four. If my work is done or if it isn't done, I can pick it back up tomorrow. It will still be here. Chocolate covered coffee beans. Ooh, great. I did not expect them to be different colors. Okay, let's try one. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is my lunch now. You need to try these. I will link to these below. Holy cow. Two more, and then we're done. Woven tapestry. There is no name. When there's no name, it's usually someone from Patreon that sends me a message that I have just forgotten that I've read. So I will check, but this is really cool. Let's do a little throw action. I love that blanket because it feels very old school. It feels like something I like had in my house when I was younger. One more box. Someone reached out to my manager and said, they have a bunch of recording equipment, like studio equipment that they don't use anymore. And they wanted to know if I wanted it. And I said, yes. This like makes me wanna cry and I'm not going to. <laughs> but when I was in Sydney, I uh, my, my major was songwriting. So I had to write like an EP and do the whole thing myself. Write it, chart it, record it, produce it, edit it, mix it, and then submit it. We didn't have tests, we didn't do finals, nothing. We just wrote an EP, which is like three or four or five songs. The songs that you have heard now on like my Spotify and all of that, those are all things that I have done completely by myself, like in a closet in Australia, basically. But I had to, to sell all of my equipment to get home. And Sorry, could you say that again? My apologies. I couldn't hear what you said. No. <laughs> Any hoops. So this feels like a huge hug. I, I can't really explain it. Wow, okay. The note says, uh, Hi Elise, I live about 10 miles away from this P.O. box and I very much wanted to simply drop this off in person to avoid the half hassle of packaging all this up just for it to get mailed 10 feet. But your publicist, Kat, made it abundantly clear that she would not help me do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that makes me feel really, really bad. I'm really sorry. But also good on Kat because I'm sure a lot of people try to do that. Here's some nice barely used recording equipment to help you realize the dream of your artist space. If you feel so inclined, watch a video or two explaining how to properly coil an XLR cable for storage. Harder than it looks, and if you learn how to do it right, it'll last forever. Fun fact, that was actually the first thing I learned when I went to school. This is a reenactment of me sitting with a girl that was in production, putting cables away. That was my first job. I was hired literally as like an intern. So I'm sitting here at like a tub of, of cords. And she goes, so do you know how to roll a cord up? Uh, freaking obviously, yeah. Okay, do it. I was like, okay, great. So I grab the cord and it's all undone, right? And I do what anyone would do in that moment that has never professionally rolled a cord in their life. Right? And I'm like, 
you look so dumb right now, dude. He was wrong. And I'm like, how, how many possible ways is there to roll a cord? She's like, one, and I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Here's how you roll a cord. This feels so dumb. I don't even know who this is gonna help right now. You grab the end of the cable. You grab the cable here. You do one roll away from you and you loop it like that. You don't do that again. You don't grab it and do that again. Put your hand out like you're gonna give someone a handshake and then be like, psych! And then you grab the cord. And you pull it up. And then you do it normally. And then you go handshake, psych! There you go. When you don't do it that way, it messes up the internal cords and it kind of bends them and makes them weak. And then all of a sudden your cord will stop working way, way sooner than it should. Enough of, that's enough of that. Okay, and let's see what's in here. It's a mic, I'm gonna cry. It's a mic. You wanna know what's crazy? <laughs> when I sold all of that stuff and like, don't get me wrong, I've had many opportunities where I could have gone and like repurchased this equipment. The idea for me was like I left and I felt like I left like a really big piece of myself um, back in Sydney. My plan is not to like become a famous songwriter and singer. I love singing and I love writing music and it's something that I've always done to like process my feelings and to process my life but it's not something that I want to be known for. It's just something that I do. I just convinced myself that it was a waste of time and that people don't enjoy it and that it's a useless skill and I'm never gonna use it and um, I should just quit because it's like, who are you, you know, to like make music? And I didn't realize how much of myself was the songwriting and like it was a huge part of my heart and my emotions and who I am as a person. Like that it, there's so much of me tied up in music and I didn't know until I didn't have it in my life for a while. I decided to start writing music uh, again and um, just playing with, around on TikTok with it and posting it online. And then I wrote this song that went like a little viral within my kind of community. In the middle of the night when you're all alone and you drove me crazy, kept me close with maybe. People like it and I like it and it's fun to sing. And I have been going back and forth as to whether that's even worth my time. And just this morning I was like, I don't know, I just need a sign that, um, it's like, I just need a sign that this is worth moving forward with and that, um, I'm like doing the right thing in this career and for my family because it's a lot of work. And um, so this is crazy timing. <laughs> and I have wanted a good mic for a long time. And so um, Daniel, I know this is so weird. I'm crying over some recording equipment, but um, this means a lot more to me than you will ever know. And um, thank you for sending this to me. <laughs> What a way to go out. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'm sorry I cried again. I, I, I should not be crying this much in my videos, but whatever. That's just who I am. So if you ever need to learn how to roll a cord up, just reference this video. I'm so grateful for this platform and this space to be loved by you. Um, it means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much. I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>